VMAX Climax, yes, this incredible, incredible set is almost two years old. It released on December 3rd, 2021. Man, that's just so insane. A lot have happened since uh, the past two years now. And I believe, I want to say this is the pinnacle of the, the modern day Pokemon trading card game sets. And... 2021 was an already an insane year, right? A lot of happened. EV Heroes, we barely survived EV Heroes, right? <laughs> that song was insane as well. And then uh, and, and at the start of 2021, right, we had the return of special arts, right? With Battle Styles, or in this case, Rapid Strike or Single Strike Master in Japan. And then literally i think the name does it just as vmax climax it it really reached a climax of pokemon cards and it reintroduced our beloved character well cards which we loved so much from dream leak and carried cosmic eclipse as well let's just browse through all the cards this is one of those sets i just I completed all the characters because why not? I believe below eighty dollars you could easily get a uh, complete character set, and and why not, right? Why not? And so many new artists in the set as well, which I mean, some of these artworks have aged incredibly fine. It's just su such an amazing set. Also nice combinations well with certain trainers and I really prefer comparing Vista Universe to Venus Climax and all the high specs I love this the most you can see the emotion of the bond between the trainer and a Pokemon really really nice and we look at the Gary right it's just or Gary green or blue whatever it's called look at it it's just absolutely fabulous it's insane I think this one, emotion-wise, is my favorite from the Evolution uh, cards. But then you also have this one, you know, Bill and Eevee. It's just, <laughs> it's insane. Looking mischievous here. And you also have stunning artwork here. The nice I Akira Egawa. And with Zekrom, I mean, it's just uh, absolutely insanity. It's, it's insanity. I, I, yeah, I... I still am as excited when I saw this set uh, two years ago as I still am. I still am. And I just can't get enough of, of this set. And yeah, I bought, I believe, like six boxes when it massively reprinted back then. Oh, well, yeah. I, w w is this my favorite character rare? I think it's a very hard pick. But this is certainly among my top three. And I believe Kurumitsu is... Oh, don't fly away. <laughs> I believe Kurumitsu is just one of the... I want, at least colorful, in my opinion. But it's just so nice. The style is so characteristic. So unique, in my opinion. F really nice. Really nice card. But there's so many diverse artwork, and I just, I just love it, really love it. And with all trains here, Elisa here with, was it fluffy, yes, fluffy indeed. By Saino Misaki, just to name a few, right? And yeah, look at this, Professor Kukui with Rockruff sleeping. I mean, it's, it's it's cleaning its home, but you know, not to wake up the the the, the precious Rockruff he thinks, right? I mean, it's just so so nice, right? Um, it stops here, sadly. Um, this is, these are all the the characters that came after Vimas Climax. This was the end, I believe, unfortunately. But this started the 2022 year very, very nice. So they, they just continued all the way up to Incandescent Arcana, and. Uh, Sadly, it ended. This is just my absolute favorite <laughs> from the character as, but I mean, it's just how nice this is all look together, right? And that's not all, right? We have the Vs as, as well. 
Kite Super S. Here are a bunch, uh, here are some duplicates, which I have here. Yeah, this is so nice, the, the brakes and all, most of these have been traded via Pokemon League or back to myself, right? Or bought, bought them at the time, right? And uh, yeah, look how nice this all looks together. I got these on my spares, so there's no really real order. Try to keep it tidy and all, but yeah, and not, not, not all these are VMAX Climax, of course, right? But uh, this is VMAX Climax. <laughs> and some of these are English training gallery cards, but I just uh, stuck them in there, right? Because it really fits. Um, yeah, the training gallery, of course, VMAX Climax carried literally 2022, in my opinion. It's just so nice, really. 2022, I think, was a very difficult one, but I, I believe it's the best year ever. Not 2021. Of course, there's v v EV Heroes in the argument to be made. But looking overall, the whole year of 2022, I believe with the VMS Climbers included, the English uh, sets, right? I think it's the best set, really. The more Pico of Union with the Marnie, of course. On which the, the right leg apparently is or the, the top is more expensive than these two <laughs> which is no discussion made but also there's like Duraldon and Ryan character super as just I mean Akiragawa is just I, I think it's otherworldly really the, the nice cityscape at night gorgeous and I'm not even a big Duraldon fan but how can you not this how can you dislike this you you can't and is this going to be my favorite of the v maxes uh character super rare yeah i think it is <laughs> i think this is just absolutely insane and i believe the price of this is also just as insane i believe it's like three thousand yen or, or i could be wrong but for a very long time it has been like below third yeah three thousand yen it may be slightly higher now today, but I mean, look at the Zinni and the Rayquaza. I, I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. Nice card. I personally think you would be wise to pick one up. I picked one up, uh, I believe, last year as well. For, again, for not too much money. Is there a price on there? No, sadly. Back this one myself. If you uh, look at... Was this on my YouTube channel back then? I think it is. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, there's also the amazing Mimikyu V Max in there. Uh, I have three of the, the regular V's. I mean, look how nice this all looks, right? Uh, it's also a nice one. This is just this looks like a painting, it is a painting to me, it's just absolutely insane. They should have uh, displayed this at Van Gogh, Van Gogh Museum. <laughs> it's just so, so nice but um, from here it ends yes sadly now I'll go to the sorry to say this but evolutions right <laughs> of course right I'm missing uh, I'm not showing the, the supporter cards because yeah I have to deck out those cards especially the fr friends in Alola they are stored away with along with the, the friends in uh, friend a lot of friends right but um yeah these uh two cards are just yeah uh, i think it's gorgeous the cat super Amrion. this one is uh i believe done by licton yes licton indeed wow and you have the Kawaiyo Umbreon. And strangely enough, these two still in Japan are not terribly expensive either. I think when it um, lights the, the hollow in the eyes, I think it's a super nice effect. Honestly. Yeah, I think it's such a cool card. Karen's Umbreon. Was there more? No, there was not more. <laughs> I 
There are some other spares of the character wares. Where is it? Where is it? Where are you? There it is. Yeah. I traded away or traded for many for these uh, during my Pokemon League. And uh, because why not? I wanna, I, I'd rather take an evolution character rare than like uh, other V cards that I just don't care about. And look how nicely these all look. I need to, to stock up on some Umbre um, on some Flareons, of course. But uh, yeah, I do think it's unfortunate that they didn't do Leafion and Glaceon character rare. Not necessarily VMAS Climax related, but I personally think Umbreon, uh, Umbreon, uh, Sylveon and, no, not Sylveon, Glaceon and Leafion. They should have gotten uh, during Legends of Arceus a character rare with Irida and other men. Honestly, it should have been right. Um, Sylveon. Here it is. I mean, I think it's, this is one that's just absolutely insane as well. By Sui. I think it's gorgeous. Really coach and need to get the English variant sooner rather than later. <laughs> the time is a little bit ticking. And how many of the Eevees I have? I have no idea. <clears throat> Let me check for just a second. I have three. I, I should have three. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe I have more. I, I literally don't know my, my how many I have in my collection. But uh, for a long time, these have been super cheap as well. Very cheap, right? So now, let's uh, check the set list. Yes, there we are. Right. That's a long time ago. Oh, wait, I need. Enter Firefox. Ah, oh, come on, Firefox. D don't do this to me. Right. Yeah. 101 cards outside of the regular set list. Yes, yeah, set Kurimitsu here debuted. Absolutely insane. Let's, uh, Go through all the cards. Yeah, another underrated one is, I believe, the Pikachu. I, I absolutely forgot to pick up Pikachu and VMAX as well. Honestly, super nice. I have this one in English, I believe. Zeraora and... What is she called again? <laughs> I have no idea. Aha, I, thank you very much myself. I made a... Uh, nice sheet here with all the characters okay Celine okay sorry I did not remember the name of that uh, character from uh, Cinnamon right what is more to be seen what the, in my opinion looks absolutely insane oh yes one I should buy as well because look at it absolutely insane Mitsui Rarita <laughs> I never thought Eternatus could look so nice and the smirk of Rose as well is just it, it adds that nice sinister layer uh, really nice <laughs> yeah I think the, ca the, the supporter card speaks for itself honestly the, this one is the card in my opinion Many say the Gloria, and it is the most expensive one. But I, I personally like this one more because I like Nessun more as well. Um, Judgment also not bad, and uh, really like Bia as well. I'm not a fan, big fan of these gold cards, honestly. No, nothing much to talk about, honestly. But um, yeah, I think I will end it there. It's been a nice anniversary almost right <laughs> yeah vmax climax it was a nice memory trip uh, will i open a booster box of it I i'm not sure i'm not sure i think i have had my fun with vmax climax 
I might check if I can get a Korean version. Not necessarily because yeah, it is cheaper, honestly, but I, I want to open something else, right? Or other Asian language, because why not? I believe the Indonesian or Thai version were super largely insane with the, the, the set list because they crammed in a lot of other part sets in there. I might do that, but yeah, honestly, it's fine, really. I have collected most of the singles that I really want. And like I said, most of these singles, except for a few, of course, right? For Except for the chase cards, are still very affordable. Like I said, the Ermion Evolutions are still quite affordable, in my opinion. So yeah, let me know what you uh, think of Humans Climax and w what is your favorite card of the set? And do you still need or have cards on your wish list? Like, comment, subscribe as usual. Have a nice day. Goodbye.